Hello. But this time on Crash Test Dummy TV. <laughs> Hello. I haven't spoken about this enough. I, uh, when I was building this this uh, engine crash bar, I didn't cover it enough with uh, good lighting. So hopefully this uh, evening lighting, afternoon evening, is uh, enough to get a good look at it. Now, I do have still photos of uh, the job in process, which I will uh, show you in a minute. Um, but I just wanted to run over a few things and show you a bit of image in the daylight because some of my photos and some of my footage is very dark so hopefully this is that little bit better but anyway lawnmower handle up until about here-ish converts into the tube which runs around here hoop bar going over the top which is joined to the frame which I had to weld a uh, a small plate onto the frame to give it an anchoring point um, that's built out of a that's the seat section from a golf buggy uh, this bar here did I build that? oh I can't remember it's been so long how's that bent? oh that's factory bent possibly no I think I bent that alright the pictures will tell better words than I am at the moment but 100% uh, made at home. These three were from a, uh, a chair. Uh, it's the same on the other side, funnily enough. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. Very solid, very practical. What I will do is uh, get some sort of canvas made up, keep a little bit of an opening here. Uh, to allow the air to pass through, but uh, something that'll cover here. I was thinking about putting driving lights here, but I have put them, uh, put a couple up here instead. So uh, I might put a couple of extras, we'll see, maybe LEDs. Um, yeah, but I was thinking a bit of a uh, uh, shield as far as uh, mud, debris, wind, rain, that sort of thing on my feet. But yeah, bolted up to the frame. I also did some mounts on the frame either side. Um, to have a securing point but it's basically bolted onto either side here straight through the standard engine bolt and the other engine bolt and it's anchored here with an exhaust pipe U, uh, U bracket whatever you want to call it um, and up the top here is a couple of dyna bolts with uh, a, a uh, base plate that I put on myself welded on the frame so it's all been attached I haven't cut any part of the standard frame itself which is very important you don't want to uh, you don't want to uh, mess with the, um, the the integrity of the frame because <laughs> sometimes if you release uh, you know you cut your frame it can slightly go out of whack because uh, every bar on there when it was welded when it was manufactured was welded in such a way when this side's heating it's pulling it over that way that one's heating it pulling it back you know weld proper welding is uh, you've got to take that it into consideration um, otherwise your measurements will be off like something I noticed here I don't know if you can see this properly but uh, that bar there and that bar there see the angle of it this side is slightly down a little bit a little bit out the three fingers are very close the crossbar is close and the uh, outside is close if not spot on but yeah those two inside bars one's a little bit lower but whatever and sitting on the bike is not a problem
Yeah, so that's that build and how I built it. Now, like I said, the footage, the photos, all that sort of thing, they weren't really great when I did the project. So I hope that uh, gives you an idea of how you can do your own uh, in the same sort of way. Bearing in mind you'll need a bit of bog to, uh, to smooth over all your, uh, your welds. Because uh, as pretty as mine look, there's a bit of a bog, you know, a bit of bog here or there. Um, just in the joins though, nowhere else. Um, these actually were chromed, so eventually uh, with the chips and so forth of the paint, I'm going to have to get this powder coated again. Because I just sprayed that with a, bit of, uh, with a spray can in the garage. So I know it's going to chip and scratch and so on, which it already has. Um, this rear bit, yeah I've put a uh, video on this, once again this tube I found on hard rubbish I think, um, can't remember what it was for but yeah it's a joint in the middle, lots of bracing, it's attached to the frame itself with a, with a plate at the end of the tube and it's rock solid. I'm still thinking about putting a bracket across here but I don't think I need it because it doesn't move moves the bike if anything so yeah and that tube that's just for when I'm uh, filming I can uh, put my camera pole straight in there very handy just lean my back uh, hand back my clutch hand and pull it out film off the camera pole put it back in without taking my hands off the steering wheel or hand so cool thanks for watching hopefully this video has made enough sense Excellent. Thanks for watching. See you all out there. And ride safe out there. And wear the gear too. Later all. Bye.